Jonathan. Not little guys, because. Me. I don't want to. I know you're middle. I don't want one of you guys to hurt. I can do it for you. Yeah. Yeah. I don't have any. I need a guy remotely my size. Me. Me. You know what? I will. No, not me. Jake. 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 I'm trying to show moves, not get in a deadlift. Let's go. Yeah. All right, guys. So. What's his name? What is his name? It's Ryan. Don't Jonathan. Say. say Jonathan. He has a very distinct name, actually. What's your name? Jonathan. All right, so. We're going to get into some weird stuff, I'll say. Right? And the first thing we're going to do is a two-on-one. -on -one, right? Russian tie. Baseball back grip, I don't know. Weird moves for every move, for every move, every place, right? I want to show it to you guys, and you're literally going to do it with your partner the way I learned it, right? And I'm going to tell you how I learned it. And honestly, you might enjoy this, depending on who your partner is. So I suggest maybe you don't go with someone you don't like. Just saying, a little teaser. So when I, who wrestles Pee Wee here? Like, uh, young, middle, middle school, high school, <coughs> elementary school, elementary school. <coughs> grade school wrestling, like youth wrestling. Okay, boom. What grade are you in? Um, I'm going in third. Okay, how much you weigh? 57. Okay, ready? So, when I was a youth wrestler, swagged up, I had a kid on my team going into third grade. He weighed a hundred and fifteen pounds. Okay, and, and listen, I know what you guys are thinking, right? Guys, listen, when I, when I talk, we got fun, but let me tell the story so we can move on, right? So, 115 pounds, and let me tell you something, there's no rationalization for it, okay? You know how some guys, they just develop early, they got armpit hair in fourth grade, and they're just really big? Okay, this wasn't bad. He was real fat, real small, <laughs> He had the t-shirt, the singlet over the t-shirt, and he was super, super fat. He was so fat that everyone used to love at all the tournaments. I was guilty. I was just watching him get his ass kicked. I swear one time, he got choked on Because the ref, literally, was just like, didn't care. And he grabbed him and he made out like a fat ground. He was like, ah! Oh. And he just got, boom, choke slam. And his dad, oh, his dad, his dad used to go there. His dad was that was a good wrestler himself, but I swear every time he saw him, you would think he was a like secret agent because he always had like a disguise on because he never wanted anyone else to know that that was his kid. He had the glasses, the hat, the hood over the hat. It's like, why are you wearing a hat? If you're going to wear a hood, you tie it. You hide it all the way up in the stands and then you need binoculars. Nobody knew it was him. So the fat kid was on his own, right? Now, let me tell you a real story. This is right after he gets choked on no, this is, this is a, so that was just like a, a pre-context of this. I'm sitting in the room one day, just like this. He had just gotten chokeslammed the week before. So we're all in there like, because he was infamous for his fits. He would lose, and he'd be like, <laughs> he'd kick stuff, eat out of the trash can. <laughs> oh, yeah, he was real funny. So, we're all sitting there, we're like, dude, I wonder what he's going to do. What is he, doing? he comes in, he, he stops him, too. You know when someone just like comes in a room and you know, like, all right, what do you want to tell us? He's like, he's mad. We go up to him. Actually, no, he came up to us. He's like, not now, guys. Like, we weren't going to ask him anything. He's <laughs> like, we don't care. And he's like, I'm going to have to work with my dad. His dad was a coach. His dad walks in. I swear this is what happened. Walks right up to him. Dad, I'm sick of losing. I need to talk to you. And his dad literally goes, I drove you to practice. Why didn't you just tell me in the car? Because I want to tell you here, in front of everyone, I, I want to be good at wrestling. Help me. Help me. I swear this is what happened. His dad goes, son, I'm proud of him. He was, it was like a real good father-son moment, right? And he goes, thanks, Dad. Are you going to help me? He goes, I'm going to help you. Relax. And this is what happens. He looks at him. He goes, ready? 
And the kid goes, I'm ready. And this is what he does. Do you need Yes. I got you. Honestly, you can play. It doesn't matter. This is what happens. Ready? So he goes up to me, he goes. He smacked him. And I'm there and I'm like this. <laughs> Things just got real interesting. He flips out. Saliva just flips out. Dad, you just smacked me in front of my friends. Turns around, we're all behind him. His dad goes, oh my God, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. I missed, I didn't hear you. you know, there weren't too many, you know, disguises, my ears messed up. You said you wanted to be good at wrestling. Okay, my bad. He goes, yes, help me, help me. I'm tired of getting, you know, choke slam. He goes, it's okay, it's okay. Now I understand. I'm gonna help you. He smacks him again! No, it wasn't that hard. It was like, boom. Now I got two popcorns. And I'm eating out of both of them. Where did I get the popcorns? I do not know. But now he absolutely throws a fit. Dad, you're like, you're embarrassing me, you're doing this, all right, like, uh, I'm sweating, uh, yeah, look at these armpit stains, look, it's ketchup, all right, anyway, so, his dad goes, okay, but you said you wanted to do the wrestling, he goes, what does that have to do with wrestling, dad, tell me, he goes, you're getting kicked on, what do you, Nancy, seriously, so you can speak as if you were this person, what do you want to do, what do you want to do, when someone hits you back, Punch him back. And his dad said something that I know all of you have imagined in your head after you get yelled at or get a whooping when you get back to your room. You imagine like, you just say to yourself, if my, if I was my dad's son, oh, I would beat him up and he'd never beat me up again, he'd never yell at me. <laughs> right? And then you realize, actually, no way my dad would. Right? But his dad looks at him in front of all of us, and now like everyone's in this room, the janitor, like everybody, right? And he goes, what do you want to do? He goes, well, dad, I want to hit you. <laughs> and his dad, his dad says this, I swear. Well, why don't you do it now? <laughs> now I got this huge popcorn. <laughs> and everyone's eating it. I'm literally shoving popcorn in my mouth. And he goes, What? He goes, Hit me. It was like that scene in Step Brothers. Hit me in the face. <laughs> and I swear, you guys might not experience this yet, but when certain things happen, it literally happens in slow motion. Ooh, crazy moments. He wound his fingers up into a fat little fist, little butterball fist, and he just swung, and I watched this in slow motion, it was like this, ah, he's getting closer, ah, this is not happening, ah, I love this family, ah, yo, he gets right, like, right here, right to his face, so close, and then his dad just shuts it down. And the point of the story was, when he swings at him, his dad caught him, right? He peeled it off, and he got his two on him, right? This move would change his life forever. He was on this tack, right? I'm talking about customer of the year at the local Taco Bell, <laughs> drinking his own bath water. <laughs> he, had a, he had mat flexes that he had to cut, right? Because his cankle would fit in the shape. <laughs> and he went from that, right? That kid. To this stuff you see in front of you. What? It was me. I was the fat kid, and I still got the stomach oh. <laughs> to prove it. Oh, wow. This is my natural stomach, <laughs> right? I have to breathe it in so no one sees it. I see. <laughs> no, I don't show it to anyone. 
Just once, that's it. I literally am breathing in at all times if you ever have to ask. <laughs> no. I'm very self, self conscious. Anyway, so a difficult point in my life, yes, but I became attached to this move. I felt safe here. This is my safe space. And now with your partner, you're going to learn it the same way I did. You're going to walk right up to your partner. With, no, who? I, I gotta, uh, I'm going to get there. So my left leg is forward, right? Remember, still good wrestling fundamentals. It's like wax on, wax off. You don't know you're actually learning karate. I had my, he had his leg forward. He slapped me. Pretty good technique. I don't want to slap on the same side. You're going to slap him. Your partner's going to try to slap you back. When he slaps me back, I catch this here. Pretend he asked you what time it is. Oh, it's three o'clock, sir. You're going to go up and over and pull it here. I don't want to reach like this with two hands, right? And I don't want to go like this. I don't want to go like this. I want to go like this. Right on my wrist, and I want to go up and over, exaggerate it, so we can get this ingrained into our muscle memory. I want to pull this tight, right? And I want my, some people have a hole right here, pretend his elbow's going to go right there, and he'll tell you, it's a, little, it's a good pressure. My left arm's going to come behind my back, we don't need it yet. Now pretend you're taking him for a dance. Why do we do it like this? Who wants to guess? Why do I take big steps like this? And what am I doing by pulling him? I'm showing control, but what is he doing? Moving. He's stepping. So look, if I step this way, he steps backward. I can maybe hit him with a cross pick. If I step the other way, he steps with this foot. I hit him with a high level swing. Right? Method to the madness. Now, what I don't want to see, and if some of you guys want to throw some flavor on it, that's cool. You want to go up to him and be like, yo. Give him a little tap. If you want to go up to him and be like, no. Oh. Why did you message my girl on Twitter? Yeah. <laughs> if you want to go up to him and be like, yo. What are those? <laughs> Give him a little smack. <laughs> Listen, make it your own. Have a little fun. I don't care. But what I don't want to see, okay, big reason, I'm not even allowed in South Dakota anymore. Why? Because I had a clinic. Little yeah. seven year old, eight year old, yeah, little nice, right? A hundred of them. Showed them, hey, listen, yeah, they loved it. Yeah, you're fat, yeah, we get it. You ate mayonnaise, yeah. Use it as sunscreen, whatever. So, I swear, I was like, yeah, go, go practice it. You get a call from my mom, pick up the phone. Yeah, guys, keep going. I stepped outside maybe 30 seconds. I come back, it's anarchy. There's a kid on the wall. He's there's another guy swinging. There's their fists, they have this kid's shirt off. They're beating each other. Oh, 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 oh. Everyone fighting, kicking each other. One kid's bleeding. I just left. I panicked. Oh so I'm not allowed in South Dakota anymore. Might be worn out from winter, but I'm not. So I really don't want you guys punching each other in the face. All right? So with your partner right now, I want you to literally smack him, and then we can move on. Not hard, please. Right up here, I got my left leg back. Nope. The guy who smacks, when he smacks back, is when you hit your Russian time. Up, over, elbow, pulling his tight across, and I'm taking him to the dance. On three, on three. One, two, three.